Good morning. Welcome to a Tuesday, Wednesday morning edition of Mornings with Stanley. Got both dogs here because it's raining outside. It thundered just a minute ago and now they're scared to death. <laughs> so they're following me around. I wonder if I'll be able to get this done. Lucy just laid down on the floor as she is prone to do. Stanley, he is... <clears throat> Right here wanting to be scratched. <laughs> Stanley, will you sit down? Sit, sit. Good boy, good boy. Okay. <laughs> he'll sit, but that's all he'll do. Sometimes he'll place. I can put him on the place thing. Okay, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to go down. <laughs> I need to train him, do, teach him the down command. Down, 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 down. Yeah. So, because I like to read without kicking them out. <clears throat> Trying to think if there's anything to say. We had a small group today for our prayer meeting. The leader of it was out of town. Leader, I mean, well, he's the organizer. He makes the coffee for us. <laughs> and um, he's in Arkansas. So, there's just four of us today and had breakfast on a bun. <laughs> I think one of the best things ever made. Whataburger makes it. If you've got a Whataburger, go and get a breakfast on a bun sometimes. It's not healthy, but it is good. Sausage, the sausage is the best in my opinion. Sausage and a fried egg on a hamburger bun. Mm. Delightful. <laughs> Thank you to Bill Cole who introduced that to me. It's, um, about half of my points on my Weight Watchers for the day. So we'll see. Wednesday is just awful for me and food because it starts off with prayer group, which the food is always, it's either something sweet like a donut or a muffin, or it's a, it's, it's a, um, or a pig in a blanket and a donut, or more than one pig in a blanket. And, or, breakfast burritos or something and then supper time is um, children's ministry dinner and it's usually pizza or or hamburgers or tacos or um, sloppy joes or I think tonight we're having pigs in a blanket and <clears throat> And then I have to eat lunch, too, because that's how I roll. Okay, Stanley, I'm going to kick you out. Okay, I'm surprised you left. Lucy is going to stay there on the floor and probably just look pretty. I'm going to look like I'm talking about her. I'm trying to hear what I'm saying. Here's our reading for today. Wednesday of week 24. There is no other seal. I'm writing this in a land where claims and counterclaims of validities of ordination are being made. I see priests claiming they receive the Holy Spirit by laying on of hands of the bishop at ordination, but showing little or no signs of the presence and activity of the Spirit in their lives and ministry. The proof of the pudding is in the eating, and the eating is insipid. Paul laid down the only realistic and Christian test of being an apostle or of being in line with the apostles. You are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord. You, changed people, are the seal of my apostleship. There is no other seal. Any other seal is a stamp of man and an empty envelope. You will know them by their fruits is the only test. The outcome is the criterion. In the time of Elijah on the mount of, of test with the priests of Baal, the test was the God that answers by fire. Let him be God. Today that is obsolete. There is one test. The God that answers by healed people. Let him be God. The indiv individual or the group that answers by changed people are in line with apostolic Christianity. You are the seal of my apostleship. There is no other seal. Bishop Pakenham Walsh was a saint, a real one. He lived in simplicity, pouring out his love and money to the healing of a division in an ancient church in South India. He
He built the ashram from his own resources. A group from this ancient church wanted to celebrate Holy, Com Holy Communion in his chapel. They regretted they could not give communion to the bishop, for the Anglican Church was not recognized as being in apostolic succession by the body they represented. All right, he replied, just let me sit at the back without communion. Christ, I am sure, sat with them and was not in the communion. We in Methodists have an open table, so everyone is welcome. <laughs> I hope Christ is present. I believe Christ is present. I do know when I go to the monastery, I don't take communion. I'm not allowed to. I'm not Catholic. So when I go up at the one, and I haven't done this in the one in, um, in Subiaco, Arkansas, but when I go to Ava, Missouri, I'll go up and, and I'll do like this, so I won't accept the... My, arms over my chest so I don't accept the elements and then they'll bless me some I, I guess they just bless me they say a prayer for me anyway <clears throat> here is the um, prayer for today oh Jesus master we can be in line of succession with you only when we show your spirit and manifest manifest your love for in no other way can the succession be manifested let me this day show the Spirit. Amen. And our affirmation for the day, my credentials must be written in the people, not in the past, in flesh and blood, and not in claims. Jesus is Lord.